So, I think a memory that's always going to stay with me really is the first time that we walked into the Captain Council chamber. And we're sat in the back, as we always do, and I'm just looking around at all these very old, very narrow, <coughs> very dark spaces, and I'm thinking, this doesn't feel like Oxford, it doesn't feel like the city that I live in, it feels like this mythical version of Middle England that I didn't think actually existed. And those people there, in many cases, do not represent the kind of diversity of even their communities, not only the ones in Oxford. And sometimes you could call it over, over time a over time club for conservatives. Mm -hmm. But the, the difference that Greens make by being there is just clear to me um, every day. Just making people uncomfortable about things that maybe they wouldn't be uncomfortable about before. Now, one of the big roles I think we've had has been to help work with the various uh, protest movements very cam and various campaign groups that have for various things over the years. So I think it was the second year into the council term that the, the leadership turned around and said, we're going to close all the children's centres, sorry about that. And people fought up, stood up and, and fought against that. And they pushed that decision into the long grass for I think another two years. And even the very unfortunate situation we have now, where some of them have closed, some of them are now voluntary uh, run centres, is better than that situation that was thought of in the first place. And that shows us what happens when citizens are active in telling decision makers uh, what's important to them, telling them what is not acceptable, and when councillors with principles are in there uh, fighting their corner. So, um, I mean, I've been really, really in inspired by David's uh, approach, seeing him operate over the years, and I absolutely want to make sure that he's still there in May, but also, crucially, that he's not on his own. Now, we have an amazing candidate in Ben here, who's hopefully going to re, uh, replace me, so I've been helping him where I can with that. I've been working uh, with Neela where I can as well, and um, I think she absolutely is in a position to win if enough people come out and help her. And if we can get two seats or even four seats uh, in May, that would it, it'd be <laughs> hazel as well. It'd be such a huge uh, increase in the impact that we can have. We get a lot done just with two of us. If we could have four of us, one of each, kind of scrutinising in, in huge detail what's going on in every policy area, causing even more trouble than we have done uh, now, and I think that would be an amazing thing for Oxfordshire. And just to end on, a reminder that we're fighting as much as we can to get rid of the One Oxfordshire proposals, but if it does go through, then the people elected this May will be the only councillors in Oxfordshire representing Green Party members and Green Party voters. So make it count in the next few weeks, okay? Thank you very much.